Yo, what's up guys, Idivas here. Today I'm gonna show you my dual blades build. Um, I was working quite long on it, long time on it. But I got it now perfectly. I was just changing parts, but look at this. Look how many skills I have on my set. This is definitely the best dual blades on any monster. You can use it on really any monster, because it will do the most damage you've ever seen. It doesn't matter, don't look at the damage of the Empress Daggers, it's only 250 compared to the Devil Jaw over 300, but it will do definitely guaranteed all more damage than them. And the reason um, that is because with this set you save a lot of space on gems, you don't need handicraft because of the Razor Sharp, uh, it will half your loss on uh, sharpness, best skill you can ever get. Like, you don't need handicraft, you don't need protect polish, you don't need to sharpen within a fight. You will just finish off monsters without sharpness. And it has also blast damage. So after a couple shots you will also get 120 blast damage. And it has two level 3 slots. So that's just the best, in my opinion, I don't know, use whatever gun, uh, weapon you want, guys. But um, I think that's the best one, in my opinion. So let's go to the skills. Um, uh, from the Impress Mail and the Breast Grease, I get this also extra Lunostra Favor, which I mean it's a free skill, why not? Um, really useful, uh, Salmon is really useful for uh, dual blades. Uh, critical Eye level 7, so that's 30%, and another 10% from the daggers which goes to 40 and another 5% from the attack boost on level 4 minus on level 5 so infinity attack plus 50 um, and also you get another 50% on weakness uh, spo on weak spots from the weakness exploit it's also a really, really useful skill which means you have 95% of crit chance that's like every hit of you will crit it will be guaranteed to crit besides of the five percent yeah. but that's insane and also you use critical boost it increase your damage uh, dealt by critical hits to 40 percent that's insane that means every one of your shots will do instead of 100 damage 150 damage sorry 140 damage and also the white sharpness as you know uh, green sharpness is 100% damage blue is 125 and uh, white is 150% damage so that means another 40% so you do 190% of the damage on a constant rate because the sharpness won't go down and you have so much crit you know and all the other bonus are just extra bonus like uh, while active reduce damage taken by 30% that's a lot if you if you play against arc temperate moss or uh, temperate elders uh, and you get a critical blow uh, it will reduce your hit by 30 or 50 you can choose if you throw another divine blessing uh, you will win but that's insane recovery speed um, uh, that's from the Valhazard coil I didn't really pick up because of the dragon attack as you see it's useless on these daggers and recovery speed is also quite useless but it has three slots and that's what I'm going for I'm going only for slots you should only go for slots look how many slots two five eight nine twelve thirteen thirteen slots that's insane that's and all the other bonus are like extra you get now um, press griefs yeah two level two slots health boost health boost is really good also for elder dragons or arc temperate uh, monsters um you with this set you won't die trust me uh re use really use health regeneration if you're using um Peak performance because when your uh, health is full you get uh, 20 attack 20 attack is insane it's like if you compare it to attack boost attack boost gives you for every level like only three damage that's nothing it's nothing if you have on every single hit another 20 damage from peak performance that's insane 
you will do quite a lot of damage. And that's why you're using health regeneration. Because if you don't use health regeneration, you could just get damage over time or just one little hit, you won't be at 100% health. Which means you won't get the 20 attack boost. So always on any weapon I recommend you to use at least one health regeneration. Um, you will uh, feel your health really quickly if you get one shot. Um, yeah. That was it to the bonus. Uh, I'm gonna show you now a video which demonstrates some damage that these daggers do. So now I was fighting at the Dogama, it really depends on the monster you fight, the damage. But look at this, look 78, look 80, 90, 100. Have you ever seen 100 damage on a monster with dual blades? And another 85, 85, 70, 60, 90, 100. Another 100. And that's, uh, that's insane. That's like, uh, it's the combi of the set. Like, and on this 84, like, Basilgus, you also can do a lot of damage on Basilgus, because his whole body is a weak spot, like, you know, and if you do this roads, look at all this damage, a single roll can do up to 2000 damage, and if a monster has 10,000 health, if you do 5 roads, you're gonna kill the monster, it's insane, it's look 94 on Basilgus, that's really insane damage. But, um, you know, uh, people are gonna say there is uh, blades with more damage, like the Devil Joe or the Diablos. The Diablos are the strongest if you're using non-elemental boost. But guys, it's the sharpness. If you use, even if you get the Devil Joe or the Diablos blades on white sharpness, it won't last long, so you maybe do one more hit with more damage like 112 or 120 it won't last forever because the sharpness will go so fast away and also s you're spending so many slots for handicraft and other yours like protect polish like you need at least five handicraft to get the same sharpness as the lunostrax and ojiva daggers that's why you you know now what i mean this is definitely the best set and do uh, will do the most damage overall in the um, fight because if you do like 120 hit or 115 hit whatever this won't be constant like you will you, you will get one hit like that or two or three or ten but the sharpness will go away and you will lose time you will lose slots you will lose a lot of stuff just for not using these daggers and this Diagus do more damage, it's more damage overall, you definitely gonna finish the monsters a lot of quicker. Um, I've uploaded the, uh, my first Monster Hunter video last time, it was a Negrigante speedrun, a temperate Negrigante. It's 2.32, um, I don't know if that's the world record, but I wasn't really going for uh, that world record, I was just testing my daggers. And actually I haven't seen anyone doing it faster than that time, 2.32. So, uh, that was it for this build, but if you wanna stay, uh, I have another one, it's it's the same build, but it's for Valhazak, um, you can change the critical IU builds, like three of them, for Effluvia, which means you can use this set on Arch Temperate Valhazak, and it will do a lot of damage, cause he's a punching bat. Valhazak is really an easy monster, I've never died at him on uh, the Arc Tempered form, it's really easy, trust me. And you can also use another health boost instead of Critical Ally and another Divine Blessing which will, which will reduce the damage taken by 50%. And the health boost will give you another 50 damage, you won't die with this set, trust me. If you if you die with this set, you will... You're, Never mind, no. It's 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 a good set for also dealing the most damage possible, but also having the most death possible. It's like, in my opinion, it's the best set you can get now for dual blades. But uh, you know, the update is coming soon. The summer event, the beam off. You maybe get better combination with this armor, maybe better blades. 
but I don't know and uh, that was it from me guys thank you so much for watching my video and if you liked the video uh, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe turn on notifications it would be really appreciated um, I've been doing quite a lot of YouTube but I've never done things like that I've just been Call of Duty uh, but thank you so, so much guys see ya